in the previous video we learned about the bubble sort and understood you know how elements uh, slowly move to their correct position so today we are going to talk uh, the another sorting algorithm which is called as the insertion, insertion sort right so this is one of the most simple intuitive and real life inspired uh, sorting algorithm and by the end of this video we will be able to understand uh, you know how the insertion sort works why it works and you know when to use it uh, so you know uh, let's begin and you know before jumping into the code let's understand the insertion sort using a real life example right so we will come to the explanation part uh, but let me uh, give a big picture so imagine you know uh, you are playing uh, the uh, cards right so basically there's a cards game where you have up to two cards and you play that right so uh, uh you pick a card one by one from the deck and then you don't sort all the cards at one instead you take one card and insert it into the correct position uh, among the cards already in your hands so that's exactly how insertion sort works and it assumes that part of the array is already sorted at it and it inserts the next element into its correct position right so uh, the basic idea is that we divide the array into two parts the left part is sorted and the right part is unsorted and we take one element from the unsorted part uh, and insert it into the correct position in the sorted part. We repeat this process until the entire array is sorted. Now, uh, let's take this example, you know, which is uh, on our uh, uh, dashboard of the laptop, right? So uh, basically, this is a diagram where we have represented the insertion sort. So you can see that we have received a basic array like seven four five two, right? So now uh, no element. Uh, the, so the element, the first element, or you can say the zeroth element on the zeroth position is uh, the first element on the zeroth position is seven and. Uh, uh, the other one is 4. So basically what insertion sort is going to do is it is going to do the comparison between them and then as 7 is greater than 4 it will uh, be moved one step forward and 4 will be moved one step backward. Right. So again the uh, the array will change from 7452 it will come to 4752. Right. Now what will happen is that uh, it will go to the step 3 again it will use a for and a while loop right whatever the way you want to do it and then it is going to do the comparison between 7 and 5 now once it fi finds you know finds that uh, the comparison between the 7 and 5 that 7 is greater and 5 is the lesser element so 7 will again be moved uh, forward but since 4 is less than 5 so there is no change in the position of 4 and 5 will be moved to the position of 7 right so 5 and 7 have interchanged their places now after you can see that most of the part on the left hand side has been sorted and the right hand side is basically the unsorted one right so now you can see the only element remaining over here is the last element of the array which is number 2 right uh, so uh, now how the 2 is going to be taken is 2 will be considered and uh, it is greater than you know it is the least of the all elements and seventh is the greatest element so all the elements will be moved forward uh, you know uh, uh, one step and two will be shifted to the position of four and four will be shifted to the position of one right so that is how it is going to take but uh, we are going to discuss it uh, much more deeper and then we are going to uh, uh, understand you know how the uh, code is currently uh, done right so uh, let's go to our uh, 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 vs code which is basically our ide i believe you guys are aware that initially we were using uh, the idle which is integrated development language engine uh, of python but uh, since I think last one or two videos we have started to use uh, the uh, VS code, right? So uh, let me uh, create one array, right? And I will print the array first, right? So let's take the array as six, 
five four three two one right so this is an unsorted array right and uh, we are going to create a a function insertion sort with uh, where we will be passing this particular array right six five four three two one I'm just trying to be you know uh, as much uh, uh, simpler with this particular thing as possible right so uh, initially when we pass this array uh, as an argument it will be 654321 right now let us pass this as an argument I will do insertion sort with uh, this particular array that will be passed from here as an ARR let's take this now uh, we will loop from the second element because the first element is already considered as sorted right so we will uh, loop from second element till the end of array <coughs> because the first element is already considered the spelling correct yeah as sorted okay so that will be uh, for i in range of 1 to length of array right now uh, let's take an example where we take a key right so we will store the current element as the key to be inserted right store the current element as the key to be inserted okay so we will take a key and that will be equal to array of i right so that's what we have done and then we will take another element j is equal to i minus 1 uh, so what is J is basically J points to the last index of the sorted part right so when I say J is equal to I minus 1 so basically sorry this one key is equal to array I means it is uh, key has become so first element a sorry the second element is this 5 so that has become uh, key is equal to 5 right so that is the second element and j is equal to j minus 1 that has become s since j is equal to 0 this has become as element 6 getting my point so we are talking about only these two elements please try to consider them okay now uh, uh, as we know as the left hand side is the sorted part and the right hand side is going to be the unsorted one so uh, we will have to shift elements to the sorted part right so uh, shift elements to the sorted part of the array that are greater than the key okay so uh, 2 1 position ahead to make space for the key right so that will be 
uh, while uh, j is greater than equal to zero and array j is greater than key sorry then basically your uh, so what that means is that uh, if if so what was j j is basically your element 0 so if 6 is greater than 5 right shift 6 1 position to the right shift 6 1 position to the right okay so 6 will be taken this way right now array j plus 1 is equal to array j and sorry it's like i made a mistake my apologies and j is equal to j minus 1 right so what that means is that now j is equal to 0 so j plus 1 is equal to 0 plus 1 so basically array 1 array 1 will be equals to 6 so array 1 is equal to 6 right and then in the final part what we do is move left in the sorted part right move 6 to the left position in the sorted part so sorry uh move uh the element part sorry the cursor will be moved towards the left position right and then uh come out of the while loop and uh insert the key at its correct position right so basically what we are doing is we have done the comparison between the 6 and 5 we moved shift to the uh, sorry we shifted the 6 which is the element j since it was greater than 5 to one right position right and then we moved uh we made array 1 is equal to 6 right so 6 was shifted to right and now 5 is being shifted to left so that's why since we have to move to left so j will be equals to j minus 1 right so once once that is done now we are going to insert the key at its correct position right so uh, <coughs> array uh, j plus 1 is equal to key right so j plus 1 is what array j plus 1 is the first element right which is sorry the second element which is 5 and 5 is going to be put up at the uh, sorry uh, the uh, we'll be inserting the key right to this particular position so basically what we are doing is that array 0 uh, we are making it as 5 sorry my, my bad uh, array 0 will be made as 5 right so because j was equal to j minus 1 so you can say that it's like array 0 right so here the value becomes sorry my bad the value becomes minus 1 over here because array j j was already 0 when we did a j equals to j minus 1 it became minus 1 so minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 and then when we did array 0 so it moved to it inserted the value 5 over there right so this is how the complete uh, transformation will be done for you know uh, 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 and finally you would be able to see a sorted array right so if you want to see it in every sort every shot then you print the array in the for loop itself right not inside the while loop but inside the uh, for loop right so now if i execute this right so let me go ahead and execute it right 
so now you can see that uh, initially when we started with the array it was six five four three two and one right so now when we did the comparison we moved six over here right so now this is becoming slowly and steadily becoming the sorted part right now we did the comparison uh, between uh, now five and six is the sorted part right so now four is the unsorted part so it will move over here right so it will become four five and six now three is the unsorted part so it will be taken to the sorted part and it will be kept over here so now you can see three four five six now two is the unsorted one and then all the else is sorted so it will be two three four five six right and finally one and one all of them will be shifted by you know uh, they will be moved one forward and one is going to be kept uh, at the left mode side which is going to be inserted and finally you can see that the array is sorted right so now the array is has been changed from six five four three two one to array one two three four five six right so that is how uh, the insertion sort works right and uh, <clears throat> if we type if we you know talk about the uh, time and space complexity uh, so uh, the best case scenario uh, in terms of you know uh, will be on uh, the average case scenario is going to be O n square and the worst case scenario will also be O n square when the array is reverse sorted. Now insertion sort uses constant extra space. So space complexity is O 1. That means it's an, uh, you know, in place sorting algorithm. So uh, what are the advantages of insertion sort? So basically insertion sort is uh, useful when the array size is small and array is already partially sorted and if we want a simple and stable sorting algorithm right because of its simplicity the insertion sort is often used inside more complex algorithms as well right so now uh, you know uh, we basically did bubble sorting in the previous uh, uh, video and now we are doing the insertion um, sort so what is the difference between both of them right so insertion sort uh, basically takes fewer swaps right it performs better on uh, nearly sorted arrays and it's closer to you know uh, how humans naturally sort the things right so uh, that's uh, all for this video um, uh, for the insertion sort i think uh, you would have uh, liked the video uh, it is basically simple intuitive and powerful for small data sets and uh, uh, I would request you to please uh, like, share and subscribe this video. Uh, in the next video, we will move to other sorting algorithms as promised like uh, merge sort or quick sort and we will uh, step into the uh, faster sorting algorithms. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, I would request you to go ahead and code this, right? Thanks guys.